for 40 some years, his, his body was contaminated. And it can, it will contaminate a woman because. In her 2010 memoir, Foxy My Life in Three Acts, Pam Greer opens up about her life and career, including her relationships with some famous men. Her exes include Kareem Abdul Jabbar, Freddie Prinze, and Richard Pryor, who she dated for a year in the mid 70s. That relationship was complicated by Pryor's drug use, and it was his fondness for cocaine that finally led Greer to end things. As she recounted in her book, she didn't realize how serious his addiction was until she received some medical information from her own doctor about how it was affecting her body, too. Read on to learn about the shocking news the Foxy Brown star heard and to see what else she shared about her relationship with the late comedian. In her book, Via Jezebel, Greer wrote that her doctor told her she had a buildup of cocaine residue around her private parts, which the doctor said was an epidemic in Beverly Hills at the time. She says the doctor asked whether her partner was using the drug topically to sustain his sexual performance. Greer said no, and the doctor asked whether her partner took the drug before they had sex. That's a possibility, she responded. You know I am dating Richard Pryor. According to the Coffee Star, the doctor responded, Oh my God, we have a serious problem here. If he's not putting it on his skin directly, then it's worse because the coke is in his seminal fluid. The medical accuracy of the account was questioned by a doctor in the Jezebel article. In a 2011 interview with Oprah Winfrey, Greer recounted the story of seeing her doctor and said that it led to her breakup with Pryor. She said that her doctor cautioned her against having unprotected sex with him. The cocaine could harm the woman's internal organs she said. So I had to tell Richard, you're going to have to wear a raincoat, a condom. And he had an issue with that. And I said, well, it's my life. You have to understand. So I chose me. Greer and Pryor were different from each other. And she said that was what attracted her Greased Lightning co-star to her. With Richard, he really liked my simplicity. He didn't like the Hollywood images and all of that flamboyance, she said in her Oprah interview. He would say, Baby, I know you're simple and I love this about you and you're endearing. No drugs, no drinking, all of that stuff gets me into trouble. But I'm afraid I may not be funny if I'm sober. And he fought that. He battled with that. He tried to get sober when they were still together. In 2022, Greer was the focus of a season of the TCM podcast, The Plot Thickens. According to IndieWire, on the show, she said that she and Pryor went their separate ways because he fell off the wagon. She explained that she felt as though the star was squandering his abilities and the opportunities he was given. Opportunities that she didn't have because she's a woman. I just didn't want to lose that talent, she said. I really wanted to hold up a mirror and show him how wonderful and loved he was and that he's really gifted. But as they say, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. I had to walk away. After coming to fame as the star of 70s blaxploitation films, Greer went on to star in TV shows, including The L Word and Bless This Mess. Now 73, she's also played roles in movies including Mars Attacks, Jackie Brown, Larry Crown, and Palms. As for Pryor, he died of a heart attack at age 65 in 2005 after living with multiple sclerosis for years. Pamela Suzette Greer was born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to a working-class family. Her father, Clarence Greer, was a mechanic and a member of the U.S. Air Force, while her mother, Gwendolyn, worked as a nurse. Growing up in a military family meant frequent relocations, which posed challenges for young Pam as she tried to find stability and identity amid constant change. Tragedy struck Greer at an early age, when she was raped by two boys when she was only six years old. The assault had lasting effects on her, instilling a sense of fear and trauma that would follow her into adulthood. In her memoir, Foxy, My Life in Three Acts, Greer candidly discusses the incident, shedding light on her struggle to overcome the pain and reclaim her sense of self-worth. Greer's journey into acting began while attending college at Metropolitan State University in Denver. She participated in local beauty contests to earn money for tuition and eventually moved to Los Angeles to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. In the late 1960s, she started working as a receptionist at American International Pictures, 
where she was discovered by director Jack Hill. Pam Greer's breakthrough came in the early 1970s when she starred in a series of black exploitation films, including Coffee, 1973, and Foxy Brown, 1974. Her performances as strong, independent women who fought against corruption and injustice resonated with audiences, particularly within the African-American community. Greer's roles challenged traditional gender and racial stereotypes, making her a symbol of empowerment during a time of significant social change. While Pam Greer became an icon of the black exploitation era, the genre itself was met with controversy. Critics argued that these films perpetuated negative stereotypes of African Americans, focusing on violence, crime, and sexuality. Greer's roles, often involving revenge plots and scantily clad scenes, were criticized for objectifying women and glorifying vigilantism. Pam Greer has defended her work, stating that her characters were empowering rather than exploitative. She emphasized that her roles portrayed women who took control of their destinies and fought against oppressive systems. In interviews, Greer has expressed that the films were reflective of societal issues at the time and provided a platform for African-American stories to be told. I was the first female action star, and I did it on my terms. The characters I played were strong and fought back. They resonated with women who were fighting for equality and representation. In 1988, Pam Greer faced a personal tragedy when she was diagnosed with stage 4 cervical cancer. Doctors informed her that she had only 18 months to live. However, Greer refused to give up, seeking alternative treatments and fighting the disease with resilience and determination. Her battle with cancer was a testament to her strength and unwavering spirit, and she eventually overcame the illness against all odds. Greer has spoken about how her personal relationships and her unwillingness to conform to Hollywood's expectations affected her career. Despite her success, she often faced barriers due to racial discrimination and typecasting. Greer's refusal to compromise her values and principles sometimes resulted in missed opportunities, but she remained steadfast in her commitment to authenticity. Pam Greer's relationship with basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was a significant chapter in her life. The two met in the early 1970s and shared a deep connection. Abdul-Jabbar, who had recently converted to Islam, proposed to Greer, asking her to convert as well. He believed that her conversion was necessary for their relationship to progress to marriage. Greer, however, struggled with the idea of changing her faith and identity for the relationship. She admired Abdul-Jabbar's commitment to his beliefs, but ultimately decided that she could not make such a significant change. Their relationship ended as a result, marking a turning point in Greer's understanding of personal values and self-identity. Pam Greer's influence extends beyond her filmography. As one of the first African-American actresses to play leading roles in action films, she paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood. Her characters embodied strength, resilience, and independence, challenging societal norms and inspiring audiences around the world. Throughout her life, Pam Greer has been an advocate for various causes, including cancer awareness and women's rights. Her personal experiences with health battles and discrimination have fueled her passion for activism. Greer has used her platform to raise awareness and support for marginalized communities, emphasizing the importance of representation and empowerment. In 2010, Pam Greer released her memoir, Foxy, My Life in Three Acts, which provided an intimate look into her life career, and the challenges she faced. The memoir offered candid insights into her personal struggles, triumphs, and reflections on the industry. Greer's storytelling highlighted her resilience and determination to overcome adversity. Pam Greer's life is a testament to the power of resilience, strength, and authenticity. From her early struggles and groundbreaking roles to personal tragedies and controversies, she has remained an influential figure in Hollywood. Greer's legacy as a trailblazer and advocate continues to inspire and empower individuals across the globe, reminding us of the importance of staying true to oneself in the face of adversity. As we celebrate Pam Greer's contributions to film and culture, we honor her journey and the lasting impact she has made on the world.